Alright, we're going to create a project name authentication. And our authentication here We create a new class. <coughs> All right, so Eclipse just created a main for us. We are ready to prompt the user with the option pane. Okay, so J option pane just say J option. Pain. Dot. Now, when you're dealing with the option pane, we have show confirm dialog, show input dialog, okay, show message and show optional. There are four main groups here. So, what are the difference? Show confirm. Let's look at show confirm. Now the parameter here is talking about the parent parents mean where you want it to pop up when you have two main frames, right? This is the main window. Like now I'm gonna put as no by default, it's gonna show up on this screen. Like when you have so many like windows, then you want to specify the right parent, right? Parents is the windows that you want to pop up. This option pin is just like a pop-up box. So this is a message say it's show confirm. So confirm. Are you sure you want to confirm, right? So this commission mark. Run it. Confirm. Yes, no, or cancel. Right. So now remember we we look at we look at the returns type. Sometimes we we said the method can return, right? The method cannot return. So we gotta look at that at the same time at this point. So we talk about type here. When it is main, there's no return, right? But let's say I'm going to create. Let me come in and ask this first. We know how to add two numbers, right? Yes, I can just say system dot out dot print and five plus six, right? That's give you eleven when you run, correct? Now beside doing this way. I can just create a method, say public. Right? This is a method. So far, we have one method named main. I'm going to create a second one. And I'm going to return an integer by naming add. You just give me two numbers number one and number two. If you pass in to the parameters, then I can return the answer. Which is the answer of num one plus num two. Okay, let's compare this. Beside using system dot out passing in five plus six directly. I mean I can just say add right and then five six. Okay, public in statics. Okay, I just need to make it statics in this case. Oh, because this is statics, then I need to have the statics. Okay. Now, uh, that's a lot more about statics, which is uh, we're not going to cover until we talk about classes. So let's say when you use statics, this has to be statics. Okay, at this point. So now when we add, we give it get the same answer, right? Because this is pretty much the same thing and returns. So 
when the method doesn't return, we say void. Void it return, we have to say return and give the type. Make sense? What we try to do, we want to do authentication. And we say authentication is based on, we get a prompt the user, right? But before we do that, we just talk about the option pane here. So come back to the option pane. We say the option pin is a function here or the method here show confirm dialog. This is the message that's going to show up when you do pop up. The box is going to say confirm. We have a chain here, it's going to change, right? Now, if you really look at the option pin, let's say I'm going to show you the same show. Let's do the difference show input. So show input is just like a scanner. This is the one we can input. Enter user name. That's the message that's going to show up. Confirm enter user name. Right. So I can just type user name. Now I didn't print it out. That's why I try to say this is going to return. This is a function, right? We remember we see parentheses. This is a function like in math. You pass in parameter, parameters just to show this is arguments, just to show the message on the box. But it's also going to return something after I entered. It's going to return the text that you entered. Now. Let's talk about this a little bit for Javadoc. So the option pane. I talk about Javadoc, right? It's just a manual that you want to refer to. I say there are four groups here. Now let's look at what would it return when you show input dialog? What would it return? Remember function have the type string, right? Like it's gonna return int, right? So int is the type in front of this saying this is the type in front of the name of the method string so it's going to return string so that means if I just do system the out like that it's going to display whatever I entered is that right because it's going to return does that make sense so Correct. Now, if I don't want to do the system that out, I can just store that to to use. Right, string u name, which is username equals to the one that this guy entered. That's right. And then I can use this to if because I want to authenticate if the username is correct. So I may just declare string. Actually, at this point, I should create a register your account where you start to prompt user for username and password, correct? So if I ask the user to create account, I should have maybe name correct your name first equals to well, like I said, I'm going to define at this point, but for this, you normally should have a method just to prompt user to create and store that correct username there, right? To use later on and say, if your name equals to the correct username, then we will just allow you to access. Now, when you deal with equals, string is a class string has the method name equals okay 
So last time I showed you to use two equal sign for comparisons, right? So let's look at this too. So if I want to use surname dot equals to the correct union. So if it is correct, I'm going to just say welcome and concatenate, just like the way that we did in assignment one with the union, right? Welcome, correct? So let's test this. I'm going to say that means it's not the same because Java is case sensitive I put a caps T, right? so welcome tennis because I put caps T, right? so normally username you can do equals ignore case, right? Username normally they don't authenticate dealing with the lowercase, uppercase mean the same, then I just do equals ignore case. You see, so if you use the method of the string, we can just compare this way. Now if it's fail, what would you do? Prompt the user to enter again? So let's say we're going to just system dot out and say fail, right? Authentication. Authentication. <laughs> now this one I already need it. I'm going to take it out. Okay, so now if I do all cap is still good, welcome. Right, so if I do something else, fail authentication. 